hospitals will need the ability to manage and respond to all these different requests. It could quickly become overwhelming, and they must prepare to minimize administrative and technical burdens associated with being in compliance. Now, it's crucial to note that the population of those potentially making requests is not just within their city, state, or region, but could be across the entire country. Thus, it's important to consider primary referral and immediate community partners, as well as those that may be located in different geographic regions. For example, if patients who live across state lines or are snowbird patients make up a sizable percent of a hospital's patient volume, it's likely that eligible practitioners or referral partners from those areas will also request e-notifications. It's unlikely that state-based health information exchanges can fulfill these requests from facilities outside their service region. CMS gives impacted hospitals the option to meet e-notification requests through an intermediary or by directly managing e-notifications. Hospitals should assess what type of technical solution will be necessary to fulfill the variety, volume, and scope of e-notification requests while also meeting security requirements. Look, at the end of the day, there are many requirements included in both the CMS and ONC rules, patient-directed interoperability, fire API requirements, information blocking, just to name a few. If you are a CIO, you will have your hands full, so assessing what work can or should be outsourced to vendors that can meet the prescribed requirements will be important so that you can focus on other strategic initiatives.